They're getting too hot. Hmm? Does it get too hot or why does why do you leave it like that? It's called shielding the arc. So after you finish welding, you need the weld and the tungsten to cool down. So when you let off the pedal, it um, the argon still flows. It's called a uh, post flow, mm -hmm. and uh, the argon is what's cooling down the weld and the tungsten. So if you listen to it. Escaping. Yeah, otherwise, if you weld it and you, you stop and you let off, the air contaminates it. You don't want your welds to be contaminated. Although my welds isn't that great. I, I was watching the arc walk. The arc was like swaying back and forth because a little wind is coming this way while I'm welding. Because mm -hmm. obviously the garage is open. And I was watching my arc walk back and forth. And that's when the air is contaminating. Like it's interfering with the welds that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But we, by all means, are not a professional, so this, <laughs> this will do. Yesterday, this thing was hanging off right here, so my arm was free floating, and I kept like dipping and dipping. So now I got the table now. It sounded like do 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 pra pra ski 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 ski. But be poop pa. So now I can staple my arm when I. Dude, what the hell? I've never seen that. Using the so like a setup for your hand. I use anything that can prop my arm up, so that way I'm stabilized, so I can yeah. control. If I'm free floating, I'd be like dipping back and forth. Yeah. This works. But the thing is, you don't want this thing to shock your arms. If you ground it out. Yeah, but normally I wear a sleeve where I stack it. You know? Yeah. But yeah. Nice. I got to just, like I said, it's, I only got like 200 <laughs> left in here. Hopefully that's enough to weld the tank shut. And then um, I'll probably gonna get some new gas so I can weld the tanks to the intercooler. And then this thing will be ready to slap onto the car, clean it up, give it a cleaner surface. I don't know if I want to paint it, but I might just leave it raw, but just make it a nice, clean finish raw. And uh, I'll worry about that after I finish welding everything done. Damn. And the last time I was here, you're still working on this guy over here. Nice. You don't got to give him no sneak peek, <laughs> Give him the whole tour. I mean, I'm sure when I'm sure if people watch the channel, if, if they watch the channel, they kind of know what the deal is with this car. But obviously, um, my videos are kind of delayed, so yeah, Leo, and Leo's <laughs> getting the sneak peek of everything, and if Leo uploads first, you guys get a sneak peek of the videos to come. Manifold GTX 3582R, tire wastegate, custom mini cooler. Trying to really button up the turbo kit so we can get this thing to fire over so we can start stepping into the fun stuff in the back. Damn. Yeah, no, I believe, guys, last clip I showed you, he was barely, I think, barely trying to piece it together, all the pie cuts. But now we actually have everything mounted up. You know, you do what you can, work with what you got, right? So, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the home killer bill because. He hooked it up with all the pies since he has all the machinery to cut them and uh we were able to make a nice downpipe for the car it is going to be heat wrapped though just to kind of contain the heat a little bit but uh we need to get some material for the dump tube and uh not too worried about it just yet i want to take care of all the aluminum stuff first and uh you know we'll button up all the small stuff later Oh! 
Oh no! I dipped that one super hard. <laughs> so they were telling me a trick that if you use a full length rod, it tends to bounce around and then it can get dipped into your puddle. So the trick was to cut your rod in half so it doesn't dangle back and forth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that was 100% user error. I, I completely dipped the shit out of that. But then again, it's also a giant gap that I gotta fill, so. Life of a non-professional welder. Just a regular garage guy with a welding machine trying to make dreams happen. Not dreams, guys. This is literally the inner cooler for the giveaway part. So. <laughs> well, it's gonna be, well, it's a lot of people's dreams right now because they all wanna know, how are you gonna enter the giveaway? Facts. Info will drop soon once we figure out how you guys are gonna enter because I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys someone one day in the near future is gonna win this beauty right here so something about white cars, man. They're starting, they're starting to grow on me. They have a clean look to them. But then also, big horsepower. Man. Pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon. Machine that uses 220. Damn. Good though. You we, were we, almost there. We are almost there. Dude. Well, see, the thing is, it's hot enough now, so I don't have to use a lot of amperage. But, you know, I'm probably still going to pedal it down, anyways. Shend it. Don't drop the sunset in. the greatest but uh, a lot better than when we started right one down three more shots to go fun time fun time watch me dip a million times watch me make the mistake of burning my arm I've done it before. You throw all the burn marks. <laughs> all the burn marks. Yeah, I was gonna say the one right, the one that happened right on top of your tattoo. You know? <laughs> <The diamond. laughs> That's not working cheap. I need a bigger welding table. Mm, mm, mm. Biscuits. Great. Great. 
wasn't working because this is hella long and it was hitting all of that. I do want a bigger welding table though, eventually. normal thing here but we'll just give it a few seconds and uh, we'll take it back on <laughs> that's good though until it shut off you? kind of other than that dip when not dip you dip we dip Antenna. So is that what your antenna is used for? Yeah. But you know, I don't use antenna in any of my cars because Bluetooth can. last part of my damn stick and that shit fucking stuck bro i was trying to make it to that bead right there so i didn't have to like have two stopping points yeah some bitch but i was this how much i had left and i was like oh i was trying to make it mm. um this torch i melted the entire inside what? and then after the inside i melted the wire because this is a uh, air cooled and not water cooled yeah. but does it look like I got any space for a water cooler? No. <laughs> so I don't have a water cooler. You see what I mean by dangle right here? Yeah. See, you see how it bounces around? See how it reacts in the front? Mm-hmm. That's my uh, other issue. What the hell happened to my thing, bro? That shit shrunk. Yeah, you need to, to rebrand it, though? Nah. A lot of people are preference. Not, well, a lot of people are like, how do you say it? Have their own preference. A lot of people ball their tungsten up. A lot of people keep it sharp. Um, I just can't seem to hold either or. So however it goes, it goes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try it sharpened. See how that works. So no no tips here because my tips could be wrong to a lot of people. <laughs> I just I just kind of work on how it works. Oh, what works for me, sorry. Beautiful part about welding on the AC for aluminum, it has cleaning action. So if I didn't dip, dip, I could just pull it back a little bit and let the cleaning action clean and it continue going. Just like to this, keep the, the constant. Whatever that, that dirtiness just happened from the spark, yeah. that that balance with that, uh, that, that cleaning action would just clean it off yeah. for you to continue going. 
So, I mean, may not be the right way to do it, but you know what? The well's looking fancy, boy. Yes, sir. So, Dana's been trying to weld, but also it's been, I don't know, what's it been, like an hour? Just like cool off. Cause my that hand thing. was hot. It wasn't the material being <laughs> too hot, but it was my hand that was getting too hot. But anyways, guys, this is Romo here. Uh, hit me up on Instagram um, when we went ahead and pulled out the LS out of my car. And well, now it's hopefully going to get sent out. Get some, like, intense. What yeah, is that? Is, this is going to get sleeve, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to send it to uh, JBR. JBRE out there in Florida. Yeah. And get that uh, JBRE uh, treatment. Yeah. I actually need to send one that way, too. Wink, wink. <laughs> so, if you can but yeah, guys, That's the plan, definitely thank you for coming through, picking it up. Yeah. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, see it running again because, yeah. you know, you've got it running too. We just, we dropped the valve. We didn't drop a valve. We just chunked it up like Pac-Man. Nah, <laughs> up to the name of Honda's being a lawnmowers. And uh, that's exactly what the car sounded like when it came here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Straight up lawnmower. <laughs> one very dead cylinder. <laughs> yeah, 100% yep. leak down. <laughs> one very dead cylinder. It was leaking down so bad, it was coming out of cylinder one. <laughs> yeah, then we ended up finding that one valve that was like half missing, burnt out. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, yeah. the lock is still good. It ran fine. It didn't overheat whatsoever. I mean, you know. Yeah. We just yeah, have some pretty yeah, badass Colorado. Yeah, they're gonna get decked anyways. Yeah, yeah. It's only two thou, so like, like Jeremy said, if he just torqued it down more or copper sprayed, it would have been perfectly fine. But uh, it's just one of those like, it's better off for somebody who's trying to sleeve it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, what I, that's what I need. Sleeves are still good, so it's, that's that's what machine shops are looking for. Sleeves that aren't cracked or past like an inch and a half. And uh, don't they machine it's gonna them all the way through though? Huh? Don't, they, don't they cut them all the way out? They do, but they always tell me like, oh yeah, we can't do it if it's an inch and a half crack. For the, if it's cracked more than an inch and a half or something like that. I could be wrong, because every block that I had that was cracked, nobody wanted to do it. Hmm. They recommended that it has to be an inch or less, because you can't truly see how far down that crack goes down, you know? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know the process of sleeping, so I can't even... Yeah. Well, at least from what I see, the yeah. Damn, look at those dimes. Jeez. Oh, man, what happened to your fin? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing wrong with my fin blood. What are you talking about? Good as new. Nice. Good as new. Those help the flow, right? As far as the comment section goes, helps the airflow and work efficiently like it's supposed to. But man, look at those welds. Did you weld into that? Nah, my <laughs> hand did. <laughs> Damn. Only reason why it looks like that is because I finally decided to switch over from the 110 to the 220. Robbed the dryer's outlet and I uh, was able to lay, lay down some consistent beads and uh, I should have done that from the get-go. <laughs> But the intercooler is done, so I'm pretty pretty proud of it, this one for sure. Dang. Hand cut. Hand, hand bent. Fat. Look at that. Hand bent. Jeez. Jeez. Trying to clean it up by using some acetone, but uh, it's making it worse, I think. The combo fab. Yeah, the combo fab, boy. Don't worry, guys. No Ooh, bent fins in the front. Man. No bent fins in the front. I made sure of that. Honestly, I think there are some bent fins in there, but we're not going to show you guys that. You guys are roast me in the comment section and shit. Dude, just look at that build quality, man. You've built one, another one before, huh? I mean, if you want to consider a radiator, then kind of. But the radiator thickness is like times that by three. That's the thickness of this. That's why I needed the 220 volt. You can see like I think this pretty. Is like a 0 0.0125 thickness. They're pretty thick. Thick B2. That's the, a big the gap. Thick. I did that on purpose because I knew that the material was thick, so I needed like the fusion to be wide to ensure the sucker ain't gonna crack. Ensure penetration. 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 And guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. So if you did enjoy uh, the shenanigans, just hanging out with Dana, getting the intercooler all welded up definitely make sure to leave a like um and make sure to leave a comment you know if you guys laughed or something thought something was funny but if you guys do want to stick around and find out what we have in store for that man so i'm excited and i hope you guys are excited for what's to come and if you are definitely make sure you're subscribed and with that being said guys thank you for watching